Hey YouTube, if you want to find out how to make this cute two-piece leopard print outfit, please stay tuned for this tutorial. Hey YouTube, I have a quick and easy tutorial for you. I'm going to try to make this as simple as possible. Okay, so I want to make a two-piece outfit um, with these two fabrics. Like, I want the leopard print with the black. I want the sleeves to be leopard and then the body of it to be black. And then with the skirt, I want the front of the skirt to be the leopard print and then the back to be black. But now, with the sleeves, I want those sleeves where... The top part of the sleeve comes all the way up this way like it's not normal sleeves. And so I already have a dress like that which is this purple one. And I, I use this as a pattern to cut it out um, in this shape. See the sleeves are going up this way instead of the normal way. So the way you would do it if you have a pattern, if you have a dress already or a shirt that is already with that cut, um, you can use that as a pattern. But if you don't, and I want to help those who may not already have these things, you can, let's pretend that this is a regular t-shirt, right? This is a dress, but let's just pretend it's a shirt. What you would do is, you would take this, and then you would fold it in like this, right? so that you're getting that shape of the shirt and then you would put it on your fabric as a pattern and you would cut it out in that shape that way you have it and then that's what you see right here I already did it so to save time to save camera time you see that it's cut like that or whatever and I'm gonna make mine a crop with long sleeves since it's fall I'm going to be doing more long sleeves and things like that. Okay, so now once you're done doing that, you can make the pattern for it if you want, if you want to make more or stuff like that. So now what you want to do is your sleeve, which I already made the pattern for my sleeve. So since you already cut it out like that, you would just take it and kind of try to figure it out. I don't know if I'm explaining it the right way, but you will see the shape of that sleeve right there if you could see like that and you could take your pattern paper and make that cut it out in the shape of that sleeve and you will have that so hopefully I described that um explain that well so that's what I did here and I have this and I have my sleeve already so once you cut out your sleeves right you're gonna take the sleeve take it to your sewing machine of course it's going to be inside out but I already did it already but I'm just trying to save time and then you stitch all the way down you're going to have two sleeves so that's what you're going to do to that for the body part let's pretend that you didn't sew it already like I did it's going to be inside out you're going to stitch down just the sides leaving this part open because you're going to add the sleeve so go to your sewing machine do that so that after you cut out your arms cut out your body sew it down like I told you come back and I'll show you the next step which is how to attach the sleeves okay guys so now for you um so that you attach your sleeves you are gonna take the body part and you're gonna turn it inside out and your sleeve right side out like you see that here so now I already attached one of mine with the pins already, but I'm going to do it with this other side to show you. So you open it up, right? This is black, so I know it's hard to see. But you take the sleeve, and you're going to put it inside. Remember, the sleeve is right side out. Your body part is inside out. And you're just going to match up the seam. You know that bottom part of your sleeve right here, that seam match it up to the the arm part right here and then you just place a pin so you're gonna do that all the way around see just line it up really carefully you'll be able to see it because if you cut it out the right way the sleeve is gonna match perfectly and you'll know exactly how to put it in and you just pin so when you're done pinning 
right to save time I, I did it already so I'm just going to show you what it's going to look like with the other side that I already pinned when you're done pinning it's going to look like this you see that there it's going to be attached to it and it'll look like that okay so you will take that to your sewing machine of course it's going to be inside out and you're going to um just stitch around where you place the pins and then the next part that you're going to have to do is you're going to want to hem the bottom part and how you're going to do that is you're going to fold it over one time and then you're going to fold it over another time and stitch all around and then you want to hem your top part when you're done putting the sleeves the same way now with my um top part I'm gonna want my neckline a little bit lower than the back so after I sew on the sleeves I'm gonna go ahead and cut the front part of my neckline so it could be a little bit lower than the back so you guys go do that and then I'll come back with the skirt part okay YouTube so I am done with the shirt part and it came out really really cute so now I'm gonna move on to the skirt and 